Hi friends, I am starting an experiment growing strawberries in Aero Garden today. Growing strawberries is easy but starting seeds is little challenging. You can directly start by dropping seeds in Aero Garden pod but I see lot less success rate in germination that way. So I started seedlings in a cup which had much more success rate. In this model, just take a little dirt into a cup and spread few seeds into it. Strawberry seeds are very small, so it's easy to drop a lot, so be little careful. End of the day, we just need 6 to 12 plants based on your Aero Garden model. So pick the number of seeds based on your model. If you are planning in harvest model which has 6 pods, then drop about 10 seeds so that you will have a little bit of buffer. So you can see here how small the strawberry seeds are. Now I am going to dump these seeds in the uh, seed starter. Once you drop the seeds, spray some water to retain enough moisture. Then take any transparent wrap such as a plastic cover, ziplock cover or a food wrap. Just make sure the light goes through it. Wrap it from the top and tie with a rubber band. Then leave it under some light. I generally place it next to an aero garden so that some light comes into this cup and helps seedlings to grow better. Alright, it's been 15 days since I planted seeds. I see the seeds started now. I am removing the wrap now. Here you can see a teeny tiny seedlings. We really need a lot of patience here. Using a tweezer, gently pick a plant. Here you can see the little plant. Now drop it into aero garden pod. By the way, if you want to know the trick making these refill pods, please follow the link in the description below. Now I am placing the seedling gently into pod. Be very careful. Seedling may break if you press too hard. Now it's ready to place it in Aero Garden. Alright, I'll drop this into Aero Garden now and show you the growth in Aero Garden. It's been 15 days these plants are growing in my Aero Garden. I see these are growing super healthy and got 3 to 4 leaves. I placed 6 pots and all plants are growing pretty much the same way. Let me pull up the pod and see how the root system is developing. It's pretty good and I see three roots now. Let me take out another pod and see how it is growing. This also developing very well and I have bunch of roots already. It's been 4 weeks, they are growing pretty healthy and lot of foliage. It's been 5 weeks, plants are going very nice and healthy. I see lot of leaves. At this point, I am going to trim some old leaves. Okay, I removed a lot of leaves. This looks pretty aggressive, but the plant has a lot of young leaves. Young leaves are going to help a lot in photosynthesis because they have a lot of live cells. As long as we maintain 10 to 15 young leaves, the plant is going to be fine with photosynthesis and they continue to grow better and better. Okay, it's been six weeks so far. Plants are growing healthy. They are totally back from the last trim. They are bushy again. Let's take a closer look. A lot of growth coming from the bottom of the plant. I don't see any sign of flowers yet. But they are growing very well. It's been 7 weeks. Plants are doing good. I just started getting flowers. This is my first flower. Very exciting. 
and I also see a lot of birds but these birds are on only one plant the other plants didn't have any birds yet so far so good I see the leaves are turning brown I don't know what's happening maybe it needs more nitrogen So at this point I would like to see how the root system is. Uh, it's a bit brown. Yeah, I see root system is a bit brown. So I think it's time to change the water completely. So I'm going to dump all the water, clean the tank and uh, start fresh. So here is the road system. It look pretty brown. I think they're supposed to be white. Hopefully the cleaning and uh, starting with fresh water might help. Let's see. Okay, it's been eight weeks. The flower from the last week is now turning into a strawberry. And I see a lot more flowers from the same plant and one flower from the other plant and one more flower from the other plant. So basically one plant producing a lot of flowers and other two plants started producing flowers. I still have three more plants to go for flowering. Last week I saw root rot, so cleaning the tank definitely helped. I see the plants are back to normal, but I am not going to take any more chances. So I am going to clean the tank again this week and fill with fresh water and fresh nutrients. Okay, let's see the root system again. Oh, they are actually super bad, they are extremely brown, this plant is almost dying, I got a pretty bad root rot. So I am going to do the same thing, I will just uh, try to remove as many roots as possible from here, do a thorough wash. Ok, here it is, I removed most of the brown roots. I think it's a big mistake not monitoring the root rot inside since the plants are green I thought they are healthy but they are not really they showed their healthy signs for a long time but uh, I should have always checked underneath uh, anyway let's see if I can still make these plants come back and produce some fruits okay it's been nine weeks and let's take a look at the strawberry now it's turning red. I'm so happy about that. And I see a couple of new flowers and a couple of more strawberries forming. So overall the flowers and strawberries wise it's good but my plants are not that happy. One of the reason could be that I gave less nutrition last time maybe they are struggling for uh, nitrogen or the leaves are turning brown or the root rot is getting worst let me open up again and see how the root system is I'm going to change the water anyways 
All right. Here it is. Yeah, I see a bunch of new roots which are white, but still a lot of roots are still brown. I'm going to clean up all these roots and change the water. And this time I'm going to add some hydrogen peroxide. Okay, just rinsed the bowl. I don't see any bad stuff here. I'm filling up with water. I'm adding regular aerogarden nutrition. Two cap size recommended. And here is the food grade hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to add two tablespoons into this bowl. It says food grade and also non-GMO. Okay, that's one tablespoon. And here is one more. Back to the bowl. All right, I'm literally praying for the recovery of these plants. It's been 10 weeks. Wow, look at my strawberry. It is ready to harvest now. My first strawberry in this garden. Very exciting. So within 10 weeks, I was able to harvest my first strawberry. Other strawberry is also slowly turning red. They are small, but I think this breed is uh, small strawberries. I have a bunch of other strawberries coming up. I see at least four of them now. And my other plant also started producing bunch of flowers. It's all exciting. And I don't see flowers on remaining plants. All right, it's time for taste test. So here I'm asking my daughter to taste test this. All right. You can go and grab it and let me know the taste. Mmm, it tastes amazing! That's, Very sweet! That's good to hear. I'm so happy with my strawberry garden. I'm not sure my addition of hydrogen peroxide really helping yet. It's just been three days. But um, at least the, these plants are looking healthy. This one, I think it's pretty much gone. Uh, I see the development, but uh, I think I'm going to give up on this plant. I'm going to remove this. Overall, I'm very happy with my strawberries in Aragorn Harvest. I'm going to stop my experiment here. But I'm going to let them continue to grow and um, produce as many strawberries as they can.